We're at Evan Field and Kohler where tonight KLC hosts Oostburg in a Central Lakeshore Conference football game. Hello everybody, I'm Mike Martin. Alongside me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, uh, doesn't look like either of these two teams are going to make the playoffs. Uh, Oostburg's been struggling. Uh, KLC has been a little up and down. Yeah, that's kind of like this game. Both of these teams probably trying to figure out where they belong in the, you know, in the conference. And they come in kind of even. I don't know. It's kind of one of those strange games. Both teams actually are, are very young. I was looking. I noticed that Oostburg had only four seniors. And then I look at KLC. Well, they only got four seniors, too. So both teams are still trying to find themselves, build for the future. I mean, KLC, you know, had a couple years where they didn't even have football here for a while. So they're still trying to build back to get to that varsity level to compete with the, the Ozakis and the Cedar Groves of the world. When I did my research, and I know you do yours, uh, I noticed that Oostburg gives up a lot of yards on the ground, and uh, arguably KLC has one of the best running backs in the conference, if not the best, in Caleb Kelly. I would suspect he's going to have a big game tonight. Yeah, I think Caleb Kelly and uh, Alex Tim, both of them are just going to get the ball at the time. I think a couple weeks ago when we were here, the game only lasted about two hours. It was... Half and that still wasn't quick enough for you. <laughs> it was up back and forth, and there was no passing the whole thing. I think you're going to get the same type of game tonight. I think basically KLC is going to just run the football, and why bother throwing the ball? You know, there is no win, so you could throw the ball, but with, when you got Caleb Kelly and Tim, why, why do anything different? Well, you weren't here last week. We still don't know where you were. Witness <laughs> protection program, I think. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> East was able to run the ball so effectively, they didn't even bother throwing in the second half, and we could see the same thing tonight. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. And Oostburg, too, unfortunately, they don't have a lot of stats online or anything, but I think you're going to see their running, too. They got two junior running backs, and we're going to see if they can go at, at uh, you know, Sheboy and Christian Luther and Kohler, your team. And another thing that I think would be a kind of an important thing is, like we had against Howard's Grove, is maybe field position. You know, teams that have to establish a long drive and things like that. Both teams, if they has to be a long drive, I don't think both teams are, are up for that. Penalties or turnovers or something could take place. So let's see if field position makes a difference. One of the guys that we didn't mention that plays for uh, KLC is a guy by the name of uh, Michael Chorowitz. And uh, he likes to catch it and run it. And uh, he seems like a big guy. Uh, he could be a factor tonight also. Yeah, he is their leading receiver uh, on the season, and he does have a little bit of speed, too. And when they did have to pass a couple weeks ago, we saw that he did do very well until he got hurt later in the game. But So there's some weapons evening, on KLC, and but and it's just a matter of how they're going to do it. But I think we're going to see a lot more running than throwing, but if they have to, I think he's the guy to go to. I'll tell you, that, that factored into my stats keeping the last time we were here with uh, Howard's Grove because, uh, like you had mentioned, there was virtually no passing. Everybody ran the ball. So... Uh, and that could be the case tonight. I think you're right. Another thing that we always seem to get here too, Marty, is uh, the kickoff returns. Oh, that reminds me. We I looked that up. Nothing. No, we didn't. And I was looking at the stats online. KLC's had two of them this year, so they're about due again. Yeah, and this is a place where everything's kind of something goofy always happens here. We always seem to get a kickoff return. One of the first times or one of the, or at halftime or a kickoff, it always seems to happen here. So maybe we'll see that tonight too. All right, with that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's ball game. WCS. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. W where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I it's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. In an instant, everything we know can be taken away. I'm John LaRoquette, and as an actor, I've made a career on TV and performing on the Broadway stage. But is that what matters most? 
If I was suddenly disabled and couldn't take steps, couldn't I still act? Only abilities matter. Visit Kessler Foundation on Facebook and tell us your abilities. And go to KesslerFoundation.org where only abilities matter. I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver could be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. Oh, Dad, wait till you see the bike we got for Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. Mom! Mom! What? You can't find Ichabod. What? You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. See that they're introducing the starting defense for Roosburg tonight. And I did notice a freshman's name being announced. So you're right, Chris, they are very young. Yeah, just four seniors at Roosburg. We have a junior quarterback, a couple of junior running backs. You know, we talked about the uh, inexperience of... Uh, KLC and they have a sophomore quarterback in uh, Braden Van S. And uh, he's been starting all year. And they're going to announce the uh, starting offense, I believe. Or Homecoming Ooh. here at uh, Kohler yeah. tonight. Thank you, gentlemen, for your years of contribution and commitment to this program. Good luck. Final conference home game. One senior, defensive back, kicker, and 
He's out tonight, Chris. He will not be playing. He's uh, he dislocated his shoulder. And uh, he actually is a very good kicker. Don't miss him. And running back on offense, number 12, senior, number 22, Kill. Kill. Plays both the offense and defensive line. Another senior, number 55, Sue G. You see that uh, YouTube clip of the Little League football team that ran out? And they had a pla it was more like a plastic kind of thing, and they, <laughs> they fell over backwards when they hit the sign. They couldn't break through it. I think that was a picture of Matt Zavada there. He's a fire teacher here at Kohler. It looks like uh, KLC will be kicking off to uh, Oostberg. We're surrounded by red up here. Two Oostberg coaches. Tom Brill and uh, Scott Hermans up here. Hemans, pardon me. It's hard to believe we only have two weeks left in the season, Marty. I know. Seems like we just started. Next Friday we'll be over at North for the North South game. Uh, Brody Gantz is uh, one of the deep backs for. Uh, Flying Dutchman. Yeah, we've seen that before. And John Fryer, I believe, is the other one, other return man that's deep. Line drive type kick taken at the 27-yard line. A good stick, but the uh, Oostberg runner bounced off of that first tackler and got it up over the 40. That was uh, Christopher Brill. Well, we'll see what Oostberg has here. Jacob Gross is their quarterback. Brody Gatz and William Anders Adams, excuse me, will probably be most of their carries. Adams is number 35, and uh, he's the lone setback. Man in motion, handed off to, uh, I believe that was Fryer. Brody Gatz on the carry. Pick up a one, makes it second down and nine. Be interesting to see how the front line of the Flying Dutchman handle the KLC. Front line, yeah, yep. you're right. That'll be something to watch tonight. Porter Gabriel split off right in front of you here on the right-hand side of the offensive line. Second back through is... Fryer and he uh, picks up a few, not much. It's and I'll be third down. Tell you the KLC is way up in the box. What we mean by that is basically all their men are in one location, basically forcing Oostberg to uh, throw the football, and uh, KLC is taking away the run. All right, split out to this side is uh, Chris Brill. Out on the other side. We have a wide receiver, and then we got three men in the backfield. Passes off the mark. Brill looked to be open, but the pass was off. And I it's going to be uh, fourth down. That was a nice play by Oostberg to just nice little three-step drop, and Brill was open. It's just thrown away. Gross was not on target. Another thing he didn't do is he didn't get over the first down marker when 
Uh, he ran his that. route. Good point. Chorowitz is back deep. Punt doesn't travel far. Chorowitz makes a catch and then he's down at about the 27 or 28 yard line. Be first and 10 KLC. And that was a quick three and out, Marty. Yes, it was. Okay, Kelly is a deep back in front of him. Is, uh, I believe that's uh, Alex Tim, number 30. He's a big one. 240-pound fullback. And they give it to him, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and stopped. Not wow. much there. I think they're trying to catch him by surprise, not giving it to Kelly right away. It didn't work. Yep, and a good tackle by Usberg. Tim kind of hobbling back to the line of scrimmage. I don't know if it's the 7 o'clock start time, Marty, but 6 30, you mean? Or 6 30 <laughs> instead of the 7, but it just doesn't seem like there's as many people as the last time we were here. Oh, you're right, I agree. Kelly, the deep back, he gets it on the crossing pattern, breaks loose, and gets it up to about the 35. It's going to be short of the first down. Give him a gain of 7. One thing he does do is keep his feet moving, Chris. Well, he's a good athlete. We've mentioned before, we've seen him on the basketball court for Sheboygan Christian. When we were here uh, the last time, and uh, he walked by me, and you know, as the game was over, and they were heading on, I thought, man, he's a big kid. Hoosberg yeah. creeping up. They give it to Kelly, but uh, stack the line of scrimmage. He gets it up over the 35 to about the 37, but that's about it. Well, and here's that situation. Yep, you got to play the field position game and punt it and try to pin them deep. And they're calling it fourth and one, but it's a little longer than that. Yeah, you're right. Good snap. Kick is away. It's a good one. Catch is made by Fryer. He gets around. No, he doesn't get around that first defender, and he gets pulled down at about the 39-yard line. Not a lot of action so far, Chris. Two three and outs. Yeah, neither team able to uh, get much of a drive. We'll call it the 39-yard line. First and 10 for Roosburg. Second time with the football for them. This is about where they were to start the game, wasn't it, Marty? Exactly. Yeah. No, not quite. They're uh, back just a little bit more. Porter Gabriels is wide out to the uh, left. Fake handoff. Pass over the middle. Is intercepted by KLC. And struggling forward and over the 40 down to about the 39 was the uh, interceptor. I didn't catch the number. Caleb Kelly, I believe. Interception by Kelly. Just off on that pass again. I mean, he had the open receiver, Gats, but um, just missed him. Okay, it's going to be first and 10. We'll call it the 40. Nice interception off a tip. Pitch out to Kelly. He's looking to get the corner. Cuts it back up. And good pursuit by Usberg. They, uh, he only gets about a yard or so. Nice tackle made by uh, Garrett Hackle. Here you see the pitch. Tim out in front. They are really stacking that line of scrimmage, Chris. Yep. Both teams are going to force the opponent to uh, have to pass it. Pass it, but the other thing is, if Kelly could break through there, he could go for a big distance. Like now. He's got the first down, still struggling forward before he's belted down inside the 25. Yeah, see what you wanted there is about to get past that initial front eight, get to the safety, which Kelly did. Yeah, good shot there. Yeah. Eric Wiesman and uh, Richard Bartson are our cameramen tonight. They're being assisted by some student helpers. Kerry Coates are in the truck. Ball at the 28, 10-yard pickup. And yeah, gross to safety, had to make the play there.
Tim, the first back, gets hit right at the line of scrimmage again. He struggles forward for uh, some yardage. He's a load. Yeah, looks like he popped out of the pile to get it way down. 240 pounder, the biggest guy on KLC. He's a load to carry. If you're gonna get him down, you're gonna have to get a little lower than he is. Ball spotted on the uh, 20 yard line. Kelly off tackle. Moving forward, I think he's uh, he's going to be close to the first down. Well, Flying Dutchman had a good rush on there, but uh, Kelly was already past those guys when they got there. Pick up a three yards that time for Kelly. Kind of in third down. Kind of interesting. Gross, the quarterback on the offense, and he runs the defense calls too. Running from the eye again, Van Ness at quarterback. Long, long time. Give it to uh, Tim again. He bounces forward. I think he's got the first down, Chris. He's pretty close. Yep. They're going to keep the ball on the ground until you stop, stop them. I do think it's a good idea to not feed the ball to Kelly every play. Yep. Got to mix it up a little bit. Well, Tim's a big guy. Unfortunately, yeah, we got a guy, guy down, too. It looks oh, like uh, Tim. Tim. Yep. It's hard to believe he's just a junior. He's a big kid. Yeah, he is. Alex Tim, 11th grader, 6'1", 240 pounds. Well, I know he got... And it was a first down. Shaken up a little bit on that first drive. Looks like the ball is spotted inside the 15 yard line. Down to about the 12 or 13. I'm calling it the 12 on the scoreboard, so we'll go with that. Five yard pickup for Big Alex. He's walking off mostly under his own power. I guess that's a good thing. Well, you can't let him run a play yet. He's not even halfway off the field. <laughs> right. Well, there's a dance tonight, Marty, at yeah, the know. high school. So. And the band is waiting. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the DJ? Yep. Did you catch a number of that up back? Pitch out to Kelly, looking to go wide. He picks up a nice block. He's around the corner, and he gets run out of bounds, just short of the end zone, but it's going to be a first and goal. I believe that up back, Chris, was uh, Tyler Tuttle. You're correct. And a nice kick out block yeah. out on uh, Schwart there. And this is where Tim would be very effective. Oh, for sure. KLC going to go extra big here. They split a man out to the right. Hand it off to uh, Kelly. He's in for the touchdown, one yard run. KLC on top, six to nothing. Well, it started with the turnover. And basically, KLC just pounded it down the field, Marty. We've got Kelly with uh, 40 yards so far and seven carries here in the first quarter. Kelly's going to do the uh, extra point kicking. And uh, he knocks it through with 5.53 left in the first quarter. KLC on top, 7 to nothing. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. 
Calvin Coolidge. Government is a people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. mentioned uh, or was mentioned to us Aiden Hogan number 10 is not uh, suited up tonight for the game he dislocated his shoulder he was uh, their uh, kicker and punter so that's a couple of jobs that need to be filled uh, Kelly did an excellent job on the extra point and I believe it was uh, Tim did the punting the one punt they had and it looks like uh, Kelly doing the kickoff chores not a good one. Up over the 30, up over the 40, goes the uh, Oosberg return man, Christopher Brill. So it'll be first and 10 for uh, Oosberg. Now oh, they have some excellent field position to work with, Chris. Up over the 40 to the 43. Well, Oosberg had a punt and an interception so far. Not the kind of start that the Dutchman wanted, that's for sure. Yeah, you got that right. Gross is the quarterback. Fryer in motion to hand it off to him on the sweep. Follows his big uh, right tackle, uh, Garrett Hackle. And uh, Fryer picks up a couple of yards. Fryer just a uh, sophomore for the Flying Dutchman. Second down and about seven for the Dutchman. And they run the same play to the other way and get a good block. And being torn down was uh, Brody Gatz. Nice play. Thank goodness that Caleb Kelly was there. Kind of like Gross does all the work for uh, the Dutchman. It looks like Kelly's going to do chores on the opposite side as he plays safety. And they're into KLC territory for the first time tonight. Just under five minutes of quarter number one, Marty. Yep. Good block that time by the, uh, look like the left guard. Second back through, a little trouble on the handoff. And uh, Gatz is not going to get much. That uh, miscue in the backfield really cost him. Yeah, there was no place to go. And once the mishandles, you can see there. Nice initial hit there by Sam Frank. I'm waiting for one of these times for Gross to hang on to the football, Marty. Yeah, really. Gross goes uh, 6'2", 175. He's a junior. Hasn't thrown a pass yet. Oh, yeah, the interception. That's the, right. That's right, and he missed the other guy, yeah, too. Yeah. How soon we forget. I'm just waiting for him to fake one and then take off on the outside there. Third and about three, two. Adams on that carry. Third down and... Dropping back, he's got a, oh. Nice, Billy. Good heads up, Billy. Ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage, went up in the air, and uh, Billy Adams uh, caught it and ran it forward for a first down. <laughs> Any way to get a completion. And a first down. And a first down, even more important. It's gonna be first and 10. Ball spotted, we'll call it the 30-yard uh, line. Wow, <laughs> what a play, huh? <laughs> Fryer. I think KLC was offside. I think it's Frank, number seven. What happened there is when the wing guy went in motion, guy he jumped thought on. he jumped offside. Big game tonight is 
conference leaders Ozaki and Cedar Grove, both yeah, undefeated. Ozaki ranked in state. That'll be a dandy. That's the big uh, tilt in the CLC today. KLC plays Cedar Grove Belgium next week, their final game of the year. That'll be a, a tough one. Like you said, uh, Cedar Grove is a really good. Gabriel's wide to the right. Fryer in motion to hand it off to him. And uh, he gets hit pretty hard, but he bounces and moves forward. He gets down, looks near the 20 yard line. That's one thing we've seen a lot of tonight is initial sticks by KLC, but they're not really initiating the tackles. So it seems like there's a lot of bouncing off and extra yardage for the Flying Dutchman. A little better tackling has to happen for the gentleman in blue. Second down and uh, less than a yard. Sure would be a good one for a quarterback keeper. Steady drops back, thrown long. He's got a receiver out there. Gabriel's wide open. Got behind the defense. And a good pass by Gross. Got it to him for the pass, for the touchdown. Well, I think the key there was Fryer, number two, kind of ran the, the shorter route and kind of froze the D-backs, which left Gabriel's wide open. 21 yards, Marty. Yeah, 21 yarder. For the completion, nice uh, sure pass seemed, and catch. Sure seemed like it was in the air a lot longer than 21 uh, yards. I thought the same thing. But the defense was so out of position, in a way it didn't matter. Not a very good snap, but the kick is up and good. Good placement by the uh, man doing that job. With uh, 155 left, we're all tied. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Radon is an invisible radioactive gas that seeps inside your home from underground. Whether you smoke or not, radon can cause lung cancer. Protect your family. Have your home tested. Call 1-800-SOS-RADON. Radon problems can be fixed. Back at Evan Field where uh, Oosberg has just tied it up with a 21-yard pass completion from uh, Gross to uh, Gabriels. The G-Men. And uh, actually, if you're looking at defense, I thought Oosberg has probably played the better defense so far tonight. They've uh, held Kelly and check a little bit. They haven't, at least they haven't let them break a 20 or 30-yarder. Well, I just said, mentioned before, KLC, it seems like they get there on the initial hits, but they don't wrap up. Yeah. And then there's point. a couple extra yards. And, you know, every couple yards, especially when you're trying to get 10 yards in first downs in a, in a game that's basically going to be decided by running, is big. I thought uh, Brill showed that kind of tough running on the couple kickoffs that he returned. He wouldn't go down on the first hit. He kept his legs churning. Taken at about the 20, 15 yard line. He's open here. Getting to the outside is Chorowitz. Cuts it back, and he's knocked down at about the 49-yard line. Oh, Marty. Good return by Michael Chorowitz. Yeah, you mentioned him in the opening, the 5'10 junior, and he's got good speed. He's their leading receiver. He is a difference maker, Marty, just like you claimed in the opening. That's good pregame you know analysis. What? You keep making predictions. Pretty soon you're going to get one half right anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened. Just got to keep making those predictions. Kelly takes the pitch from Van Ness. Looking for blocking. Bounces it to the outside. And there's going to be a big gain now. He's going to go 51 yards for a touchdown. Just like that. I think where Oosberg is not as good as KLC is the outside game and the speed of KLC and there's the difference maker another one that Marty mentioned in the pregame Caleb Kelly 
He went from 40 yards in the first yard, Chris, to 91. <coughs> Just showed a speed. Yeah. The snap and the set and the kick, and it's good. And uh, with 134 left in the first quarter, it's uh, 14 to seven. KLC. perfect to be a perfect parent because kids in foster care don't need perfection they need you that, that touchdown for uh, Kelly Chris was his 19th of the season that's according to Wiss Sports well, I had him only for eight before that but I don't know no, you're right yep I even have it down here on my sheet ten ten touchdowns on the year I was close the, uh, let's see if there's a, a little swing here. Big return on the kickoff. Well, let's Big return on the, let's see how Oostberg responds I now. I going to see if he can get a good kickoff, period. Just get the ball down or a little yep. further. Yeah, not much there. Taken on about the 30. And uh, knocked down at about the 33 or 34 yard line. Maybe he's tired, Marty. He just ran 51 yards, had to kick the extra point. Then you make him walk down there 50 yards. Now you make him kick again. He's a high school kid there in shape. <laughs> All right. Let's see how Oostberg responds now. Gross, you got uh, Fryer in motion, they fake to him. Now they do give it to Fryer, but he gets hit in the backfield. Not much blocking on the left side of the line for uh, Oostberg. I'm glad you stayed with it, and so did KLC. All stayed in their assignments because there was running backs running three different directions. And I was watching all of them except the guy with the ball, Marty. <laughs> really? And as a defensive player, you have to just stay in your contain, in your area. You can't be sucked in to all those fakes. Well, he might have seen something, you know, when they run that play to one side and they watch the opposite side defensive end. If he's crashing down, that leaves it wide open for the reverse. That time uh, they read their keys. Gross's pass is off the hands of the intended receiver, Brody Gatz. I'll tell you, Marty, those receivers have been open. And uh, Gross is not missing by much, but he's missing. Yeah. And that's going to set up a third and about 14 and just 47 clicks on the clock. Fryer and uh, Gabriels are wide to the right. Gross in the shotgun. Wide and open. Wide open is Gabriels. He's not going to get, he's going to be close. It depends on the spot. It's a good pass and catch. And uh, because Gabriel's had the big play before, a big cushion for him. And when you had third and 14, not the, the worst situation. They're going to, it's not that close to a first down. So I don't know what the delay is here. You don't need a measurement. Oh, my God. Oostberg is on the line of scrimmage, and the guys are coming across. They take out John Welna. I know John Welna's. Patience is not a virtue. Coming here in a blue jacket. Yeah, pretty big. Pick up a 12. He's going to make it fourth and one. River Falls missing our own Michael Krieger and his Platteville Pioneers. One o'clock Saturday. River Falls 1 3. Platteville 3. 
They're ready to get out there too. They're not going to wait for the chain gang. All right, John with a slow trot. Retired John Wellna. Sweet. Works at Black Wolf with Coop. Dan Koopman. Wow. They're going to go for it, and this could be another big swing. Yeah, you're Not right playing there. the field posi position game here is Usberg. Adams is a lone setback. Pryor in motion. They pitch it out to him on the sweep, and uh, he's got it. Extra effort at the end got him up to the 45-yard uh, line, and it'll be a first down. He may have got it, Marty, but I didn't like the call. Uh, I thought it left him open to a uh, big loss. Back into the backfield. Yep. You have a f you're swinging it out four or five yards to gain one. Under 30 seconds in quarter number one. It's going to be first and ten. Ball is spotted right on the 45-yard line. I think Usberg was thinking that KLC is all going to crash, and that would be more wide open, but... First back through, uh oh, busting out into the open is Adams, and he gets ripped down inside the 35-yard line. <coughs> and that's going to be the last play. Here you see well, the replay. Stop the clock for the first down. We'll have to see. That'll be it, Marty. It's going to be first and ten at about the 33-yard uh, line. Good gain that time by Adams. And that's the end of the first quarter with KLC on top, 14 to 7. This could be a bicycle. Or a bat. This could be a robot. Or an airplane. This could be a playground. This could be a book bag. Or a soccer ball. This could be a book. This could be beautiful. This cannot be trash. This can all be recycled. Learn more at thiscouldbe.org. Here we go, Marty. All righty. Pass. Pass away. Wide open. Wide open as a receiver. Christopher Brill, and he's got an easy touchdown. That one went for 33 yards. Oh, boy. Where was the defense on that one? Again, it just opened up. You got eight guys in the box, which leads your secondary a little open to big plays, and that's twice now to uh, do that. Pass play, gross oh to Brill. Yeah, that was a nice play. Again, the pass defense non-existent. Another bad snap, but whoo. Well, that ball ended up in Newsburg. No, yeah, but it's no good. Uh, score at uh, 11.52 left until halftime is 14 to 13. Oh, well, we got a back and forth there. Yep, we do. It's a close game. I for uh, sure. went over to uh, Horseman and watched uh, undefeated uh, soccer, Sheboygan North and Bayport play. And Ooh, that was a good one. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, Sheboygan North's team tied on they tied, Tuesday, yeah, and awesome. then they tied last night. The one uh, uh, in the paper said the one that really cost them was a Notre Dame. Game. Yeah, that was Notre Tuesday Dame night. Was like a middle of the pack team. Yeah, they're like fourth in the league. They weren't, but uh, they should have beat them. The North kid, yes, the North kids played their hearts out, and I'll tell you, as the time was clicking away, and you know, when one team just has to tie and the other team has to win in that game of soccer, holy cow! Yeah. There's not a lot of holes, and uh, Bayport almost looked like they were playing for the tie, stalling, and nice. North kids played their tails off and. In that first quarter, Chris, I had uh, Usberg with 90 yards, 47 rushing, 43 passing, and uh, KLC had 100 yards, 90, or all of them on the ground, 91 by Kelly. Kelly 
Adams, I believe, did the kicking, and Kelly picks it up at about the 20 Fake something. reverse. Yep. And the defense did a good job. Tackle him right over the 25 at about the 27. That was Chorowitz on the return. And again, another good discipline on defense, that time by the Dutchman. Well, last two possessions, KLC has scored in two minutes and 42 seconds, and then that 51-yard run by Kelly took them 19 seconds to score on that drive. Van Ness at quarterback, and Tim back in the game, Chris, big number 30, leading the way. Kelly slips by one tap where he breaks through the group. He's going to go. This is going to be a 72-yard touchdown. Oh, my. Make it 73 yards on the run for Caleb Kelly. Chris, we could be seeing history here tonight. Kelly earlier in the year had over 400 yards rushing, and uh, he's well on his way to eclipsing that tonight. And now he's got to kick the extra point, and then he's going to have to run to the sideline and run back out there and kick off. How does he do it? Well, he gets it blocked for one thing. <laughs> With 11.35 left until halftime, it is 20 to 13. Want to mention some of these student helpers? Jesse, the man Edwards, uh, is from South High, is uh, helping us tonight. Uh, Lacey Fister is uh, making her uh, inaugural appearance of the 2014-15 uh, year for uh, helping. Glad to have those kids back here helping out. Chris Wright is your color man. I'm the play-by-play -play guy. Joining us in the booth is our uh, supervisor, Richard Bartson. <laughs> making sure we don't misbehave. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Falling on the ball for uh, Oosberg was uh, Max McCoy. Oosberg will have it first and 10. Here you see the replay. And the whoops. Ball spotted right on the 35-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Didn't they just have the ball? Yeah. You run one play. Twice. You don't <laughs> even get a first down for that. <laughs> 73 yards. Twice in a row. First carry. Gabriels is the man. He's out there wide to the right. Gross in the shotgun. They might be going to the pass a little more often. Inside handoff. Nope. Double reverse. Oh, breaking loose on the uh, trick play for Oosberg is uh, Brody Gatz, and uh, he got a big gainer there, Chris. It's big gain after big gain. They did a double reverse on the inside and gave it to the third back. The ball is spotted on the 27-yard line, first and 10. Thirty-eight yard run. Yep. Just like that in the KLC territory. Gross sands it off. Oh boy. Busts through the line. And a good tackle. Unfortunately, it was way downfield. Fryer on a nice run. Fryer should have just taken that outside instead of challenging that D back there. Inside the twenty. Eleven seventeen left and headed for our sixth touchdown of the night, Marty. Really. You know, the well, I shouldn't say this, but uh, could help KLC. You know what we haven't seen yet tonight? A oh. yellow thing. That's, well, why in the world are you talking about that? <laughs> well, to help KLC uh, here. Mentioning those penalties, we haven't had one tonight. Uh, yeah, we did have one, actually, in the first quarter. There's another one, the same one. Yeah, offside. Offsides. 
That they don't even the throw the flags. Oh, there's one over there. <laughs> it's laying on a... <laughs> That was the Maybe same play by Frank again. He did it again. When the uh, guy went in motion, he jumped offside. Okay, it is going to be first and five now at the seven-yard line for uh, Usberg. You know, their nickname is the Flying Dutchman. They are flying up and down the field, they I'll are. say that. Both teams. <laughs> Adams is the lone setback. We've got uh, Gats on the right side going in motion. Now and it's another, got Usberg. Uh, See? I the flags and they're coming out of the work. <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> now we're right back where we started from. First and 10 at the 12. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> How much you want to bet the official did not place the ball down at the original spot? It looks back a little bit, coaches. I would go down there and complain. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. That goes right through the hands. And uh, Usberg had the first shot at it, but they couldn't come up with it. Making the recovery was Sam Frank. <laughs> Turnovers, we mentioned, would be a difference in this ball game, Marty. And that's turnover number two. Wow, a big break for KLC. The defense hadn't been doing much, and uh, they get another turnover. Kelly outside, maybe? Yeah, it's been money. Picks up a good block. Cuts Here back. he goes. He's on the loose again. 69 yards, Does he Marty? have enough? Does he have enough? Good stiff arm, he's gonna go. Touchdown. 69 yards. 69 yards. With Sports has a player of the week, Marty, and uh, right now for the first half, Caleb Kelly can be a nominee for State Player of the Year, I'll tell you. He uh, is definitely gonna be player of the quarter. He has 142 yards and two carries to go with his 91. Guess what he has to do, Marty? Yeah, I got a kick again. <laughs> of course, that last one wasn't his fault. There was zero blocking up front. And that time he does get some blocking and kicks it. With the touchdown, it's a 27 to 13 with 9.49 left. 27 13 KLC. There's only one guy faster than Keller. I'm bored. I think I'll ride my bike. It may never be this easy to help your kids find balance, but you have more power than you know. For a free Parents Handbook plus other resources, visit the WeCan website. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. 233 yards, Chris, so far. Wow. Uh, we mentioned earlier he had a 411-yard rushing game earlier in the year. Uh, stands a good chance at eclipsing that. Uh, previous to that, uh, Nate Bergman had the uh, city record for rushing in a single game. He was a good one. Yep. For one sure. of the best ever in the city. Oh, Gantz breaks through, almost broke it for a touchdown on the kickoff. <laughs> Here you'll see it. Where was the black shirts on this one, or the dark blues, the midnight blue shirts? Turnovers have been the difference, Marty. The INT and the fumble very easily could have been 20-20. Yeah, and uh, turnover by Hoosberg. It's just over the 45, but short of the 46. So we'll call it the 45-yard line. 
Gabriels is wide to the left. Three-headed monster in the backfield for the Flying Dutchman. They give it to Gantz. And uh, he gets hit hard, but uh, I tell you, he keeps struggling forward. And uh, I like your comment earlier about they hit him hard enough, but they're not wrapping him up. Yep. And uh, Oosberg is gashing KLC as well. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's uh, They're both... Uh, and I think a very smart thing for KLC here. They took Kelly out of safety. They put Van Ness back there and give Kelly a minute to rest. Pryor in motion. Pitch it out to him. Uh, good penetration that time by Chorowitz to force the runner, Fryer back. And that allowed his teammates to come up and support. I thought KLC was offside, Marty. They no flags. That's going to go as a no-gainer. For Fryer, it'll be a third down and three. Each team's only punted once. Let's see if we can force the second one right here. 837 and counting and 40 points when on the board. You look out there at Gabriel's, Chris. He's got a big height There's, advantage over yeah. that uh, defensive back. And uh, tough break for uh, Fryer, John Fryer. Tripped and fell. He gained maybe a yard. We'll call it no gain. It's going to be fourth down. Oostberg at two and five. Looks like they might just go for it here, Marty. Yeah, nothing to lose, Chris. Yeah, it's early yet, Marty. Way early. You don't uh, want to lose a game in the first half. I, I, I like this decision, actually. I just think that uh, their defense is so bad. And they get the first down, and Fryer more. puts his head down and runs right over the defender, gets it inside the 35. Well, the Oostberg coaches were talking before that running to the left here, they can do it, and there's no question. There's a nice kickout block by Brill, and there's a big lane to run through. If Oostberg had a number 25 on there, Marty, you could be running through that hole. Yeah. Only if they all stood still. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the initial hit that would hurt Marty. We need a crossing guard. <laughs> oh, right through the middle is Adams on that uh, right up the middle jobber, and he gets it down to the 20-yard uh, line. Oostberg just two scores down, so they figure, hey, we score here. We're just down a score. We just need our defense to somehow stop KLC because KLC can't stop us. The only thing stopping us are penalties and turnovers. Friars the wing on the right in motion. And they give it to him. Has a blocker in front of him. A little bit of penetration by uh, KLC, but uh, they still can't stop him for a loss. It's going to be second down and seven. The last three possessions, KLC has had the ball for 43 seconds, Marty. So that's an understatement to say that the defense has been out there a long time. Yeah, really. And that's uh, playing a part in this, too. They give it off to Gantz. Not this Good time. Good hit there. Nice play by... Uh, KLC's uh, Levi Modell. Someone had to step up. Yeah, really, exactly. They get third down and about five. Does pick up two yards. Modell, just a freshman. 180 pound freshman. He likes to hit people. Gotta Bet like you they that. come run left here, Marty. Nope, they're going right. Oh boy. Off tackle, and uh, he's got the first down. It's going to be uh, inside the 10 yard line, I believe. Be about a six yard pickup. Fooled me on that one. I thought they'd run left because it was so open over here, but they ran a little counter back to the right. It is uh, going to be first and goal right at the 10 yard line. And they took the first down chains away, Marty. Yep. Here we go. Full house backfield. Give it to uh, Fryer, and he slips off a one tackle. He's dragging people forward. He gets inside the five, 
down to about the one. Yep, running to the left. Watch yeah, him clear man. that alley. Oof. And then good effort again yeah, by Johan Fryer. Eric Wiesman giving you that shot. You're going to spot it at the two yard line. It'll be an eight yard pickup. 5 15 and counting quarter number two. Second and goal. Give it to Gantz off right tackle, and he's in. Not much resistance there. Two yard touchdown run. Wiesberg right back in it. Gantz has 54 yards rushing in the quarter, and uh, Fryer has 40. Adams on only one carry has uh, 14, so they've been piling up the rushing yards. The exchanges here haven't been good, Marty. This one's better. He missed that one too. Yeah, way short. And that's not, that's not good to be down eight. Two missed extra points. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, Usberg scores again, but they're down, like Chris said, set 27 to 19. Did you know that 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented by simply wearing proper eye protection? I'm Dr. Tamara Fountain for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We recommend that every household keep protective eyewear on hand to use during home projects and other activities that can cause injuries. Know your risks, save your sight. To learn more about eye health, visit GetEyeSmart.org. I wouldn't let my people. Carrie, you caught me at a bad time. I was just taking a drink for my soda that I had to buy again. But it's still nice to have you back, Chris. Oh, thanks. Even, even though you never buy. <laughs> Five oh three left in the first half. You mentioned the score, it's up there on your screen. KLC 27, Hoosberg High School 19. Adams kick, got his foot into that one a little more. Kelly lets it bounce, takes it on the 20. Dodging left and right, gets it up over the 30. It'll be first and 10 from there. What was under five minutes left. It took Kelly 19 second drive, a 20 second and a 14. So uh, see what happens. We are uh, winding down the football season. We have uh, one more game left on the docket. That'll be uh, when South travels to the dark side to uh, play North over at Urban Field. And North will have the same issue that Oostburg have stop, stopping Boris. Boris. What do you think Boris would do out here? Oh, yeah. Ooh, in the backfield, but he hands it off. And a block in the back. Chorowitz through the line of scrimmage. He's still on his feet. He gets pushed out of bounds at about the 45. Official, uh, the coaches up here were yelling about the they block got it. in the back, and there is a flag on the field, so this will probably be coming back. Yep, number 51 for Kohler. Easily making that uh, call for the official. He just wouldn't let, let that go. <laughs> Luke, you can't do that. So this will be a spot foul. And a, a little bit of a strange play, Marty. Yeah. A little bit of a strange play, just because of the fact that uh, Kelly's been running so well. You don't need to do your dipsy and your do necessarily there. That's the truth. Let's see, they got the ball spotted on the 20-yard uh, line. Yep. So, first and 23, Marty. Okay. Van S in the shotgun. Kelly is a wing over here on the right. First pass for a... And in, uh, out of the hands of Chorowitz, he had the defender beat. And a good throw, but he couldn't come up with it. Just had Caleb Kelly run for almost 150 yards. You throw back-to-back -back 
situations you haven't done all night. Yeah, it's, uh, well, he was open. I mean, <laughs> all you do is make the catch. I mean, yep. You threw it to your best receiver. Yep. Well, we got second down. We'll run Kelly for, to the left. Yeah, we'll run for 80 yards this time. Kelly up. Him through the middle. Yep. yep. Fryer got a good lick on him, but uh, not until he got it up over the uh, right at the 30 yard line, a 10 yard pickup. Now, we'll probably see a pass here. See what they do here. I think they're going to throw, Marty. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, never know. Blitzing. Hoosberg. Blitzer runs right by the uh, ball carrier, and then now uh, they jump on Kelly's back at about the uh, 35 and get him down. It'll be fourth down, and uh, Matt Zavada sending in the punting team. Yep. The clock's running here. It's going to be fourth down in about eight. If I was KLC, I wouldn't be quick to punting here. Take some time off. Uh, whistles. Uh -oh. What do we got here? Illegal procedure on KLC. 324 left in the first half. Ball move back to the 30. Wooseburg's going to get some good field position. They only have one return man back. It's uh, Brody Gatz. Brody's setting up at about the 43-yard line, and the brush comes through, and they miss the block. They were through there. They had a shot at it and uh, couldn't make the, the block, and uh, Gatz gets it up near midfield. I'll tell you, KLC is dodging a lot of bullets today. I was looking at that official back there. See, I thought he just threw the beanie right. down. Okay, yeah, okay. It was a flag, I guess. That should have been a block for Oosberg. KLC gets a huge break yep. on that. I'll tell you, Gross has missed on a couple passes just barely. Almost got the block there, barely. Uh, there is a personal foul on KLC, oh. personal foul is going to move the ball into uh, KLC territory. Oh, my. I thought it's only a 15-yard penalty, not 20. Ball is spotted on the 36-yard uh, line after the penalty. Oh, we. KLC really tight. Yeah, Gats. Off right tackle, still struggling forward, gets it up inside the 30-yard line. Now three of the last four times, Moosebergs had the ball, they've scored, and then the other time they were driving, but they had the snap over the quarterback and the turnover. If I'm Oosberg and I score, I would never kick an extra point again because KLC is not stopping you, so why won't you go to two every well, single time? Yeah, at this point, you're right. Full house backfield again. Gabriel's wide oh, to the left. Oh, are they tight? Fake. Gross looking, looking. Throws on the run and uh, way off the mark. Well, if that was the NFL, there'd be illegal contact downfield on Porter Gabriel's. He was banged, banged, and banged, but uh, no call. Third down and two. Not a bad play, Chris. You still have two downs to get the first Oh, down. yeah. You're running here now. Full house backfield again. Gantz is the uh, back on the left. They give it to him off of uh, right tackle, oh, and he boy. pops through the line, and he's got the first down near the 10-yard line. 214 left. spot him out. <laughs> 14 left. Clock is stopped on the first down. And spotted at the 12, so he can't get a first and 10. 
or yeah, excuse a, me, a first down. That was a 16-yard pickup, Chris. Both teams with three timeouts left. The clock isn't started yet. Why isn't the clock? Oh, he must have got out of bounds. Okay. Give it to Fryer. He's going to get close. And he's bouncing off of people, and he's going to get knocked down inside the five-yard line, down to about the two. It'll be close to a first down. Depends on the spot. This is awfully close. Clock should be running. They didn't call it. What? It should be second down, first down. Uh, they're making it second and. No. Nope. nope, they are. Our first down. First and goal. Oosberg might score too fast here. Yeah, that's right. Fryer again. Gee. He walks in. Nothing doing there. Great Ooh. blocking up front by uh, the Flying Dutchman. And uh, he's in the end zone. Let's see what they do on the uh, extra point, Chris. They better be going for two the rest of the night. It's homecoming for uh, Kohler. I think the other time when we were out here was homecoming for Luther. Yep. And Christian both, I think, maybe. Right, that could have been. They are going for two. Yep. They'll give it to Fryer. Tries to cut it up. It's going to be Ooh, close. The scrum, and he's... Why is there not a, an official yeah, on the, the line official? over here? They didn't get that's yeah. not a good... Dis that's a poor... Where's, where's the official on this side? Both officials were like it's an extra point, and so there's nobody on the sideline. Yeah, they were uh, confused on that. That's that a bad cost, decision by uh, the officials. That could have cost uh, Oosberg two points. The referee came out and signaled uh, no good on the uh, extra point, but there was no uh, line official to uh, judge whether he got in or not. No, nope. they are both yeah, they goofed under up the goal, on that one. goal posts. That's uh, an unfortunate set of circumstances for uh, Oosberg. Right now, the score is 27 to 25, KLC. Hmm. That was interesting. <laughs> really? Yep, the officials were not paying attention that time. We yep. have uh, 140 left. They both were under for the extra point, and no one, it should have been a regular set. Yeah, for a regular play from scrimmage. And uh, could have cost Usberg two points. I'm not saying he was over, but you never know. Yep. They were not in position to make the call. No, not the best position, let's put it that way. Well, now KLC still leading by two, which is a good thing. And they have three timeouts and the ball. And the way they're going tonight, they can score. Adams uh, got a little bit of foot into that one. Charowitz picks it up at the 10. Gets up to the 20 and uh, is knocked down at about the 25 yard line. So with 132 left, KLC will have it first and 10. Be an interesting thing. I think I'd go with Kelly to start with Marty. If you put the ball up right away and you're in completion, then Oosberg's going to get the ball. So I would give it to Kelly and see if he can gain some yards here. You do have three timeouts. The last drive, they didn't go to Kelly as often. They had. That reversed, which didn't work, with a penalty and then the incompletion. Looks like Tim is the uh, deep back, Chris, in this set. Not sure where Kelly is. We'll give it to uh, Tim, and uh, he gets hit right at the line of scrimmage and is knocked down. Now is Oosberg going to call timeout? At this time, they are not. Tim on the carry. I'm going to wonder if uh, everything's okay with uh, Kelly not being in the lineup at this crucial part of the game. He's right on the sideline here, Marty. Yeah, why isn't he in the ball game? Makes you think he might be hurt. They give him a yard at second and nine. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Hoosberg on the blitz. They give it to Tim again, and he uh, falls forward for maybe two yards. Now Usberg calls timeout, but 
A lot of time has gone off the clock now. It's going to be third down and about seven. KLC got the ball with a minute 40 left. It's down to 47 seconds. The thing is, is the positive part is like when Oosberg got such a great rush on the punt last time, yeah, maybe they can the do this thing. thing. Right, good point. Force them to punt and see if you can block it. We mentioned uh, we're late in our season. We have one more game left. It'll be uh, next Friday when uh, South travels up to uh, Urban Field to play uh, the Raiders. That'll be our final game. I don't think uh, any of our local teams will be making the playoffs, Lutheran, North, or South. So that'll wrap up our season. And then, of course, uh, we look forward to uh, bringing you basketball, high school basketball. Kerry also told me they're doing some uh, UWS games this year. I know you always enjoy that, Chris. Well, I just know that sometimes they've had teams and sometimes they don't, just so they uh, keep They always guys. have a team. It's <laughs> I know Ben Van Vagel's playing on the team. All right, good for him. Played at North last year. Here's a reverse. Uh, reverse, trying to get to the nice wide play. side. Fumble. And, uh, fumble. Yeah, we got the ball. No, no, we got the ball. We got the ball. We got the ball. It's no, down. They got the down marker, so that means it's, it's KLC ball. Tim, it looked like Tim was the one that made the fumble or committed the fumble. Once again, KLC lucky because Oosberg had a crack at it. Yeah. And with 38 seconds left, I would think Oosberg's going to send the house here. For sure. You can bank on that. They have it's a nice. Be fourth and nine. They have a nice little weapon in Porter Gabriels. That kid's just a sophomore. But he's a nice target. Kelly sitting on the sideline. Interesting to see if uh, sitting on the bench. Something happened, or he said something, or maybe something's wrong with him. Looks pretty lonely there. Now he's got a partner with him. Sujeth Ragamoni. KLC at the line of scrimmage, all set to punt. Going back deep for uh, the Flying Dutchman to uh, return this punt is uh, Brody Gatz. Brody had a nice return, the last punt, and uh, then they also picked up another chunky yardage on the uh, penalty. Not this time. They don't Tim get got a good kick on the spiral. Gatz picks it up at the 31. He's looking to get some yardage. And uh, he's surrounded by a lot of KLC players, and he gets knocked down at the 33-yard line. Good punt. I would say. Punt return by number 20, 33.9 seconds left. 23 seconds left. 23. That's some burned-out light bulbs. If I was Oosberg, I'd just maybe forget it now. Hey, you only got to break it once. They do have a timeout left also. Gross dropping back, looking, looking. Fires over the middle. He's got his receiver. Brill, I believe that is. And 18 Brill seconds. Brill gets knocked down at the 48. Yep, well, on the ball right away. Oosberg's going to have to get up at the line of scrimmage. The clock's going to start running as soon as the ball gets put into play and the chains are set. We're at 16 seconds, Marty. Here we go. Grow straight back, getting rushed hard. Forced out of the pocket. Now he's looking. Clock's going to run out. Pass is incomplete. There's 2.9 seconds left. Good rush that time by uh, KLC. Well, we've only had 52 points in the first half, Marty. I think we should come back for the second. <laughs> yeah, really. Isn't that the truth? It's going to be second down and 10. Gabriels is the wide receiver. Inside of him is Gatz. Going deep. And incomplete, and that'll be halftime with uh, KLC on top, 27 to 25.
Let my peeps drop drunk. Do you? Do you? Do you? I got one. Do you? Actually, I got two. Designated drivers, that is. Keep your head screwed on straight. Don't drive drunk. I don't. Do you? Do you? Do, do you? you? Don't drink and drive. We don't. Do you? Brought to you by Rad Terry Fader and My Safe Ride Home. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. I'm looking for my safe ride home. Do you? It's your home, it's your dream. Great on test and keep it healthy and clean. Make it green, green, green. Making it green starts from the ground up, so make sure the air in your home is healthy for your family to breathe. Test your home for the presence of radon. Go to epa.gov slash radon. Make it green. Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public educational and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Teen years are a challenging time, but they're also a good time to think about your child's health, which is why if you're the parent of an 11 or 12 year old, you need to know about preteen vaccines. Vaccines that can protect your preteen from meningitis, whooping cough, and for girls, the virus that causes cervical cancer. So schedule a checkup for your child today and ask about preteen vaccines because your preteen might think that they're grown up, but they're counting on you to know better. Brought to you by DHHS and the CDC. got us turned on yet. We're not on. We're not on. Huh? Well, you can hear us talking? Well, then we'll talk. <laughs> well, we're at halftime, and uh, Oosburg has uh, actually gained more yards. They have 282 yards to uh, KLC's 255. I think the big difference, though, Chris, 
is uh, Gooseburg has shown some balance. They have 91 yards passing and uh, 291 rushing. All of uh, KLC's yardage have, has come on the ground. Well, Kelly's got 248 out of the 255. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, and it's wow. amazing, but it's not uh, the best way to uh, approach your offense. Well, I think it's going to come down to things that we mentioned in the beginning. Kelly Turnovers a, and, uh, yeah, there's K Kelly, you'd be all right. On the sideline, he's loosening yeah, up. I was going to say it's going to come down to turnovers and maybe whoever has the ball last, Marty, and uh, maybe an extra point here or there. Could it, could it be whoever wants to play defense? I don't if think there so. Hasn't been much I don't think that's going to be the case, Marty. I think it's turnovers, maybe a key penalty, you know, that forces a second and long or first and long, and I believe the uh, team who has the ball last. You uh, mentioned uh, Kelly in his big second quarter. Uh, he had uh, 157 yards, but the reason I mention that is that uh, Hoosberg had uh, some nice uh, rushing yardage from uh, from Gatz. Brody Gatz had 78 yards and only seven carries in the second quarter, and uh, John Fryer in uh, eight carries had 52 yards. And uh, the other guy that I thought would be getting more carries throughout the night is that uh, Adams kid. Matt Adams, I, no, I take that back. He plays for the Cardinals. William Billy Adams, but he hasn't touched the ball much. He does have 42 yards, but only four carries. Yeah, but when he's got it, it's big yards. You yeah, said the really. 10 yards. Oh, another great shot by Eric. <laughs> you are the man. <laughs> Go over there more. No, come over here oh, more. Oh, that way? Yeah. <laughs> Go over there. Oh. Best shot of night, Eric. How come we never get those good shots from Richard? Oh, well, because he's on top. That's right. <laughs> Uh, let's mention the crew again. Uh, Kerry Coutzer is our director, doing a great job on the replays and the shifting from camera to camera. Uh, we have Jesse, the man, Edwards from South. Lacey Fister joining us for the first time this year. Uh, Willow Fister, one of the helpers last year, is her sister. Eric Wiesman, we mentioned on the uh, field camera. Richard Bartson is uh, up on top near us running that camera. Chris Wright is uh, doing the color and doing one heck of a job. And uh, I'm the play-by-play uh, -play guy, and I'm doing okay. I'll tell you, Marty, it is nippy out there. The uh, yeah. The sun is down, and uh, you know those it, two feels like, it feels like October. <laughs> those two Oosberg coaches that are up here by us, it's like they own the dang place. They pull out the windows, and, you know, <laughs> and now they're standing there with their hands in their pocket. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, KLC gets the ball here in the second half. I'll tell you one thing, Chris. When you have the windows out of the, you know, off, you get a much clearer view of what's yep. happening down there. Yep. Well, we've mentioned it before, these dark midnight lure. So. Somebody is uh, being naughty in the stands. They have a whistle, and uh, that's illegal. And uh, that would be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the home team if it happens again. Put the whistle away. That's not a smart decision. Oh, bad kick. I don't think he tried to do that, Chris. I think he just buffed, biffed on it. It's like my five iron. But it's going to be first and 10 for KLC. And they are going to start off with great field position at the 44-yard uh, line. Unfortunate turn of events for uh, Oosberg. Great if you're a KLC fan. Give it to Kelly. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and uh, no gain there. Well, he's had a lot of time to rest. And let's just see how uh, Kelly does here. He could be a little tired, Marty. We'll see how he wears on to the game. I agree with you there, Chris. He's just short of the uh, 45, so we're going to keep it at a no gain and uh, call it second and 10. See if they go back to Tim here. Yeah, Tim is the up back. Nope. Pitch it out to Kelly on the sweep. Good Six. fill by Oosberg. And uh, they make the stop in the backfield. Coming up was Brody Gatz and uh, Billy Adams. 
Just watch the demeanor by Kelly right now, Marty. He just doesn't have that pep that he had earlier on in the game. Even going back to the huddle, look at him how he's just kind of walking slowly. Not the start that we wanted Actually, to see. You know, that's the first time he's been hit for a loss in the ball game, and it's a loss of two. Makes it third down and 12. Van S pitches it out to Kelly, looking to get the corner, and he's not going to do it. He gets hit back inside the 40-yard line. Another loss. Look at the fill by Usberg this time. All running to the outside. Very good job by the Flying Dutchman that time. To take away that outside game. You might have to go back to the inside with Tim for holes to be created. Well, one of the things that uh, Usberg has done is run in uh, misdirection type plays, and uh, that has really caused problems for the KLC defense. Kick by Tim is uh, right up in the air and uh, doesn't take much of a bounce. And uh, Usberg uh, gets it. They weren't sure if it hit a player, so uh, uh, Billy Adams came up and took charge and uh, recovered it. It's uh, going to be Usberg's ball at about the 35. Just a short punt to Mario of 23 yes, yards. Straight up in the air. Last one went 44 yards. That one didn't go as far. And unfortunately, that is the third straight punt for KLC. Ball is spotted on the 35 yard line. And uh, we're not sure what's going on here. Somebody is hurt down on the uh, west sideline. It's a KLC about the player. 45. Yeah, KLC with the uh, pink. Well, uh, that's strange. I was way away from the play, Marty. Yeah. Who is that kid? Number 32 is Zach Hendricksy. That's Hopefully interesting. Zach is going to be okay. He was w probably the outside runner out there and probably was driven out of bounds or something, Marty. Well yeah, away no. from the rest of the play. A lot of class by Usberg. All those kids are clapping. But they're done clapping, and now they're ready to knock you over. <laughs> yeah, really. Now they're all standing in the huddle. He can't wait to get out of the huddle again. The guy's only halfway across the field. Interesting. Let's just make sure we got the officials where they belong, right, coaches? <laughs> and at quarter at safety now is, who? I'm kind of curious about this. Yeah, it could be Chorowitz. Uh, well, they yeah. had Van S back there, and they had Kelly. Kelly. Tyler Tuttle looks like about the middle linebacker. He handed off to uh, Fryer. He sticks behind his blocker and gets it up near the 40-yard uh, line. If they're going, I think it's Van Ness back there. To start the game, they had Kelly in there. Kelly's going back in now, but uh, probably going to try to keep him a little more fresh. Going to put him maybe at a linebacker position and leave Van Ness in. Too many yards on first down. Yeah, you're right. They've been uh, pounding away full house backfield again. Run out of that formation quite a bit. Do a little trickery. Uh-oh. And uh, it worked again. Johan Fryer. Fryer battling down near the 40-yard line. What a run. Just that same simple misdirection, and the lanes are open. And again, there's an initial hit, but they can't. They just don't contain the tackles, Marty. No. You're, uh, they don't hold them. You're exactly right. They don't wrap them up and take them down. Usberg runners are running hard tonight. And uh, this full house backfield is causing havoc with the defense of KLC. They can't uh, read it. There's Fryer. Barrels down for about 40 yards on the carry. Take that back, Brody Gatz. Uh, too many carry. yards, Marty. Too many yards. Ball carried by Gatz. Boy, they look so good to start the game. And ever since then, yeah. every drive that Usberg's had is produce big chunks of yardage. Ball spotted on the 36. It was about a four yard pickup. It's gonna be second and six. Porter Gabriels is wide to the left. Uh, they haven't gone to him in a while. 
can see why they're just running the ball up and down the field. Pitch it out oh. to uh, Gats, and he battles down, gets knocked down right about the uh, 30, which should be enough for the first down. Let me tell you, Gats could have turned that up earlier if he would have fouled the way, but he decided to try to take it outside. Fryer almost holding on that play, it's number two, but uh, get, I'll tell uh, you, if he would have cut it holding. inside. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Ball holding on Oostberg. Okay, it, then they got Fryer on that. Ball is marched all the way back to the 45. The only thing that stops each team are big penalties. Well, we had some turnovers too, Chris. Yep. That, uh, you know, we're talking like it's all doom and gloom for KLC. They are up by two. Yep. So all is not lost. They really caught a big break on that fumble down near the goal line by Usberg. Gats is uh, dancing and dancing and uh, tried to cut it back, but uh, couldn't quite get loose. <laughs> It's going to be third down and about eight. On that first half, Oostberg had the ball for 15 minutes and just basically eight minutes and 43 seconds for the offense for KLC, and then they had a two minute drive, so time of possession definitely favors Oostberg. Second back through is oh my. A, a Fryer, and uh, he slips through and gets the first down inside the 30-yard uh, line. And the second and long doesn't stop the Dutchman. They just Keep seem to be. Keep it on the ground. Yeah, they just seem to be building confidence every time. Hackle again with the key block. One of the four seniors, number 70. We've called his name uh, yeah. several times, blocking and a little bit on defense. Too. And the kid you, has played a good yeah. game. And you don't mention offensive linemen too many times. Yeah, we don't do it enough. We should. Uh, but he's a key person there. Look at this. Oh, right through the middle. Is that Billy Adams? Yeah, Adams on a big gainer up the middle. They weren't expecting him. Just look at the hop and the step in the giddy-up for Oostberg. Yeah, first back through, they missed him. KLC just all their heads down. And I think you made a good point, Marty. You're up by two points. Act like it. They weren't ready for that quick hitter, that's for sure. Hanky. Yeah, cheating. plague. A whistle before the uh, play got started. We'll have to see what happens. Most of the time it's on the offense. Illegal procedure on uh, Oostberg. We have uh, 635 left in the third quarter. Uh, last time Oostberg had it, you know, first and long, it didn't hurt them one bit. They just ran three plays and they got the first down. Well, now they're in four down territory, Marty, right. being so close at the 21. Gabriel's is way split out here on the right hand side. And uh, they give it to the third holding. back through, yeah. Flag flies in where it's normally holding. Brody Gatz uh, on the ball, on the carry, didn't get much. Third penalty against Oostberg on the drive. And the only thing stopping them, same thing happened right before their fumble. They had a penalty, then they had that fumble. The only thing that's been hurting them is their penalties. Referee wow. coming to the middle of the field. Uh, well, you they could spot the ball at the 32-yard line. Holy cow. Just like Groundhog's Day, it'll be first down all over again. This time, 32 yards. Oh, well, Oostberg can get a first down, but they have a ways to go. You give it to the second oh, back boy. through, and uh, Gatz gets tackled. Lots of yards, but they need a bunch, so that's not a bad play for KLC. Still outside the 25. Big hole, but a nice play there. This would be big if KLC can keep him out of the end zone. Second down, gets on the carry.
first back through is uh, Adams, but he doesn't get much that time. Two big stops there by KLC. Well, they're up to about the 24. They need about 19, Marty. Under five minutes. It's going to be third down. Curious if they keep it on the ground here, Marty. Yeah, it'll be... Uh, I think I they would. Do. They haven't been real good passing the ball. Oh, man. Interesting now, yeah. call. You know, there was another one where I thought the ball was just up in the air an awfully long time, and the defense was just nowhere to be found. So now you got a fourth and manageable. We've seen them try to kick field goals and extra points, and that's no good. Yeah, they're not going to. So that. will the penalty help KLC all the penalties? Here we go, fourth and seven. Big play, third Full quarter. Close backfield again, too. Let's see what happens with this. Slant. Over the middle. Pass is incomplete. Good defensive play made there. I think that was... Uh, Stott on the inner completion. And that was a big play. Uh, let's see if the offense can get mortar in a little bit. Just their second time with the ball here. The 438 mark. Here we go. Here we On go. The loose. He gets it out over the 30 or near the 30 yard line. Yep, it is going to be Kelly outside. getting outside. So that's about a 20 yard pickup. They get the 29. It's going to be a 17 yard pickup, Chris. First big gainer of the second half. They had him bottled up the first possession of the second half. You give it to him, second back through. He gets stacked up right at the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard at best. I think they got to get Tim in the action a little bit more. He yeah. went out earlier in the game with some injuries, but uh, just to change things up. Sam Frank bringing the play in to the huddle. Tim is the up back, Kelly the deep back. Frank is the wide receiver off to the uh, left-hand side. Van Es gives it to uh, Kelly, and he's knocked down in the backfield or falls over one of his blockers, but... Uh, no gain. Coming into the game, Kelly had 675 yards, but adding 250 to that helps. You could get to the 1,000 mark tonight, which you would think is not realistic, but <laughs> yeah. that's only 325 yards, and what do you got 250 and a half? Yeah, right. All you need is another 100. Who can do, anybody can do that. <laughs> Shoot, he had 150 in the second quarter. A timeout on the field, Marty. It's KLC. Uh, we mentioned this before. We'll mention it again. We're uh, wrapping up our uh, broadcast season for uh, football. We have one more game left. It's uh, North visiting, uh, pardon me, South visiting North uh, next Friday. The North-South game, uh, we look forward to bringing you that. And uh, the last game of the season for... Uh, KLC will be uh, at got it right Cedar here Grove, at Belgium. Cedar Grove, Belgium. And I was going to mention that uh, Oostburg has an interesting contest coming up in their last game. They host Milwaukee Madison. Yep, they already beat Milwaukee Hamilton this season. Well, I don't even think we mentioned the records of these clubs coming oh, yeah. in. Uh, Oostburg is two and five, one and three in conference. I remember you saying that. KLC is three and three and uh, one and two in conference. Yeah, just five teams in the league with right. Elkhart Lake playing eight-man football. Van Ness in the shotgun looking, going deep down the He's middle. Open. He's got a receiver. Chorowitz has it. 
and he's got the first down. He's knocked down at about the 30-yard line. Good pass and catch. There you go, and he was wide open, Marty. Yeah, he just went right down the middle of the field. And that's what happens when you run, run, run. You got eight guys in the box. Makes it awful difficult for the D-backs to cover all the guys. 39-yard pickup on that one, Chris. And that flipped the, the field. Exactly. And now, all of a sudden, all the mojo going back the other way. Give it to the second back through Kelly. He slips one tackler, but he can't get by the next. Uh, good play out there by Fryer after Kelly slipped past the first tackler. Watch this. Gets by. Oop! Got by that guy, but not that guy. Plus, he got a little help from his friends. Second down and a long eight. You know, he had a 17-yard pickup, Chris, and uh, that's been it. Everything has been minus two, minus two, zero, minus one, two. They've uh, bottled him up here in the third quarter. Blitz coming. Kelly can't get by that yeah. uh, Little front line. A yeah. lot more difficult. There was a reason he was sitting out at the end of that second quarter. Just, I think just a tad tired. Picked up about uh, four yards on the play. And again, probably two down situation for the offense. Kelly's got eight carries in the quarter, Chris, but uh, not many yards. Van S straight back, fires out Wheel to route. Kelly, he's got it, he's open, and he gets knocked down at about the 10-yard uh, line. Yep, just wheeled out of the backfield, Kelly did, and nobody picked him up. Just a simple little situation, just rolls out here, wheels out, and away he goes. Okay, the ball is outside the 10, we'll call it the 11. That was a 14-yard pickup on that play. And again, when you play eight guys in the box, they just... D-backs are not ready for all the situations and that time the linebacker, no linebackers followed Kelly. Well, they never throw to him, so it's, yeah. I mean, not that it's, you want it that way, but you can understand why they didn't cover him on the pass play. Tim on a nice run. It's going to be second down. Tim with a six-yard run, Chris, that's uh, huge. What a flip. Hoosberg. Looking like they're going to go down for the leading score. Two big penalties cost them. Turnover on downs, one big pass play, and now KLC has a chance to get a big lead here. They give it to Tim again, and uh, he's struggling forward, but uh, Usberg uh, playing good defense in the middle of the line. Under 30 seconds, Marty. Clock rolling. Or is it 20? <laughs> it's hard. It, it was 20. It's down to 19, 18, 17. Ball is spotted on the four-yard line. Boy, 52 points in the first half. None here in the third quarter. Five, four, three, two, one. No play. at the end of the quarter. Just before that play, we talked about the end of the third quarter of play. Did you know early signs of eye disease and vision changes start to occur around age 40? I'm Dr. Ann Coleman for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. I see firsthand how vision problems can affect lives. We are urging adults to get a baseline eye disease screening at age 40. If you have any risk factors or signs of eye disease, see an ophthalmologist right away. Know your risks. Save your sight. To learn more, visit GetEyeSmart.org. Cable access channels are critical tools for local government. They provide important information about issues, services, and programs, as well as local emergencies. They also allow you to watch your local elected officials in action. Through the provision of governmental access channels, our communities are kept informed, educated, and entertained. 
Where else can you get information about your local government? Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local government access channel. Third down, four. Ball is spotted on the uh, four yard line. Actually, it's uh, third down at three. Well, is Kelly going to get touchdown number five, Marty? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? With it only being third down, you uh, obviously can run the ball both times. You don't need to toss it up. See what they do. Kelly is a deep back. Tim is the up back. Quick snap. They pitch it out to Kelly trying to go wide. Flag down, Marty. They had good penetration by Usberg, but uh, Kelly got around the corner, but Chris called it a flag. They wave off the clock, stop it, and uh, I think this is getting called back. Boy, anytime a team gets down to ready to score, the Hankies come out. Here in the second, second half, that's uh, exactly what's happened. Happened for Roosburg, and let's see if it's going to happen here for uh, KLC. The legal shift by uh, KLC is going to be a penalty. They'll run well, play again. Well, the way the defenses are, Marty, it doesn't matter if it's five, five yards back or not. We'll see what happens here now. Five-yard penalty pushes the ball back. It's at the nine. It's third and eight. Coach Savada sends in the play. Yeah, Frang uh, bringing in the play to uh, Van S. Braden uh, hasn't run the ball so far in the ball game. Chris, I don't think he's going to run it this time. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> Hand off to Kelly. He tries to cut oh. it in. Doesn't follow his blockers at all. He runs right into a wall. Wow. They push him down. What a big hit there. Fourth down. Oh. They give him a yard. I think that was the freshman Swart again. 6 1, 180 freshman. Yowza. And now, with 11 24 left and counting, another big play. Roosberg right. had it on the other end. Now. Well, if they don't get it, at least they're putting uh, Usberg back. We're in the fourth quarter, clock running, 11-10. Running out of time. Timeout, KLC. Yep. Timeout to avoid the penalty. They were running out of time. Good decision. Don't want to be back five yards farther. Interesting play call here, Marty. The one thing that... Uh, you don't think you have to worry about is uh, like they're in position. I think they could kick the field goal or at least tempt it. It's not. It's certainly it's got within a big range. Foot. Yeah, it's within range. But my point is, the way uh, Usberg kicks, you don't have to worry about him kicking a field goal for the most part. I mean, right. You know they haven't shown a propensity for being a good uh, kicking team. Therefore, you might as well just go for it. If you don't get it, you you know, have them in bad field position. How about a pass, Chris? Horowitz is a big target. Well, I don't and, know. Uh, they haven't been covering the backs out of the backfield. You know, a little swing pass to Kelly, get him out in space. Well, they're Might backed work. up against the end zone, so there's not as much room to work with. Right, I understand that. Which uh, helps Usberg a little bit with them being so tight. I wonder if they go with a little more, you're right, straight defense as opposed to a basically a 44. And well, that looks like what they're going to do is they're going to run more of a... Well, Van S is in the shotgun, yeah. too, which would lead to lead me to believe they're yeah. going to pass it. Pass over the middle. Ball Can is be caught. Batted, and it's incomplete. Hoosberg with a good defensive play initially, tapping the ball away from the receiver, but then it went up in the air, and uh, the KLC second receiver wasn't able to uh, make the catch. What an effort. Exciting play. Well, we mentioned this also in the opening, Marty. Teams have a difficult time making long drives because of the penalties, which we've seen before. And both situations here, Kale Usberg first went all the way down the field, or Usberg got the ball, went all the way down the field. They had penalties, cost them. KLC went all the way down. They had penalties. So I think this is a good thing for uh, KLC. All right, it's going to be first down and 10 for Roosburg at the 80-yard line. They're deep. 
And uh, they give it to the first back through. I believe that was uh, Gats, and uh, he doesn't get much. Nope, that was Adams. First half, each team had a combined 15 total chances with the football. This is just the fourth time with the football here in yeah. the second half. Yeah, oh, it's strange. Have, uh, been, uh, Interesting. Few and far between. Very strange. Clock running, 10:30 left in the ball game. Gabriel's is wide to the right. Give it to Fryer. He breaks through. He's got a big opening. He's going to have a first down out at the 20-yard uh, line. Are we watching a mirror game, Marty? Wasn't uh, Us KLC pinned down here, and then Kelly had a big breaking play like this? <laughs> Seems yeah. like both teams are mirror images, thus the two-point game. Boy, you know, they had a great shot at holding them back deep in own territory, and they let them get the first down. That uh, was costly, to say the least. You think that uh, those officials back in the first half on that two-point conversion, yeah. <laughs> that... Uh, Hoosberg's thinking about that yet? Probably not, but. Might hurt the rankings. The running back is uh, Gantz. He gets it up over the 25. But once again, can it be an 81 yard drive, penalty free? I just don't think it's possible. Gantz has had a nice night tonight. Full house backfield. They give it to the first back through Adams, and he breaks it up over to the 30. That hole is there. Yep. That hole is there. But again, all that work, and they're only at the 35, and the clock is running. Going to be running here under nine minutes when they get it again. You're not going to get too many chances with the football anymore. Yeah, ball is actually spotted on the 30, Chris. It was a three-yard pickup, I believe. Am I right here? 40, 30, yeah, it's at about the 31, but they still got the first down, and they're on the move. Clock running, nine minutes left. They give it to uh, Fryer. He tick, tick, had it tick, about tick, the uh, tick, tick. 38. Eventually, Oostberg's going to have to put it up. 33, pardon me. We've seen the receivers open. We've seen the line do well to hold, uh, to give Gross a chance, but uh, he always, hasn't always been on target. No, he's uh, had trouble with his accuracy. You're right there. Second down, a long eight. Another run formation. Yeah, Fryer in motion. They give it to... Uh, Adams, and another he hold. bounces off a two tackler, uh -oh, three tackler. He's on his loose. He's loose. Oh, it's all Running, coming racing back. down to the side at the ten, the five. And he's and tired, he's but it's not going to matter. In the end zone, but uh, you're right. This is all coming back, which is unfortunate. They called it right away. Yeah. Holding on Usberg, you're right. And I've mentioned it before, Marty. Each team with these long drives, we said it in the opening. Yes, they run the ball, but can you not have a penalty to hurt you? And both teams have been hurt by the the uh, penalties. <laughs> that was such first a half was pretty clean. The second half has uh, been anything but. And uh, once again, it's not just the fact that you know Usberg can. Obviously run through it, but it just now they're going to take off more time off the clock to get their their yardage. Well, this all bolds well for KLC. It's first and 18. Could have been six the other way. And they had a drive before where they had holding penalties and motion penalties when they were down inside the 10. This time, oh, who's, uh, what happened there? I think KLC was offside this time. They've uh, jumped offside frequently on the uh, motion by uh, Usberg, and uh, they do it again. 
I think it was Frank again. You know, there's, I mean, jeez. Isn't there something to be said for watching the ball? First, no, they fake the first back through. They give it to Gantz, and uh, he gets it up to about the 30. Picks up about five yards there. I didn't catch the number, Marty, but uh, someone can hung on to the leg there, Gantz. And now we're under eight minutes left, Marty. So they started on the nine. They've gone over three minutes, and all they've gotten is about 25 yards. Yeah, a lot of clock running down. You're right. It's third down and 10. Jeez. All those yards, and it's third and 10. And give it to the fake. He's open. And he's wide open. Nice catch made there by uh, Gantz, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 48. We've Good fake in the backfield, too. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times. Gantz has found areas in that little gap behind the linebackers inside the D-backs. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And, you know, it was a great throw, don't get me wrong. And the kid ran a great pattern, but the defense is nowhere to be found. I mean, these kids well, are just running. Well, as I said, open. we got eight guys playing in the box, Marty. That leaves that big separation between your three D-backs and the, the yeah, linebackers. Give it off to Gats off right tackle again, and uh, he picks up about four, close to five yards on the run. This is basically the, the drive of the game for Oostburg. If you stop them here... They may not get the ball back. We're under seven minutes. What would have been interesting, Chris, is what they would have done had the ball, had they gone to fourth down down here. Do you keep, do you go for it or, or not? You know, can your defense stop them? Right. Basically what it amounts to. It's third and five. Second and five. Second and five. Yep. Pardon me, good call. There's that ball again. A fryer off the other tackle, and he picks up about three before he's knocked back. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be, oh, boy. That pick, he got a great spot. I yeah. didn't think he got that far. Third it's going to be third and one. Still 43 yards away, though. It's still a long way to go. That's still a lot of yards. This is a... Got to stop Stop here. Good play. Let's see if there's a penalty to slow him down. Misdirection has uh, caused issues, and there you have it right there. He was stopped. Oh. He pulled away from the defender, and he gets the first down, down to about the 45-yard line. Good run by Gantz. Have we mentioned that, Marty, the, the initial hits, but not the wrap ups It's been all night. It's been all night. And they're still only at the 40-yard line. Got a ways to go. Come on, boys. Got to dig deep. Last home game. Playing for your seniors. Clock running. Under six minutes. Stick with the running game. It's been uh, pretty good, but now they're going to pass it. Good rush. Jump pass is complete to Adams. What a play. What a play by Jacob Gross. Watch this. Whoa, 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 jump pass complete. Adams on a nice catch. I saw six midnight blue jerseys, Marty. Even the coaches up here are saying, what's going on? Six midnight blue jerseys, and right in the middle of that, those, the seam there was Adams. And now we're down to about five minutes. Give it to the second back through. Fryer gets just enough for the first down. This drive started at the 11.05 mark. It's now five minutes, and it started on the nine. I'm telling you, I'm still waiting for that hold call or something to stop it. Well, you mentioned it's pretty hard for a high school team, any team for Look that at all matter. the plays, all that red, Marty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the way down the page. First and 10 ball on the 28-yard line.
Chris has called it. Clock's running. They've been running the ball. A little bit of passing here and there. It's paid dividends for him, too. Oh, they give it to uh, Adams, and he gets bottled up right in the middle. Blocking wasn't there that time. Finally, a play Watch by this. KLC. Yeah. Big number 30, Alex Tim. Second down and 10. This is the ball game. Four minutes left. We're talking about a seven minute drive and they're still 30 yeah. some yards away. 28 yards away, excuse me. Adams alone set back. Gats in motion, they fake to him. And he gets hit on the throw and it goes incomplete. And he's hurt. And Gross got hit hard. Does that look like uh, Caleb Kelly on the hit? Well, that time the run didn't go for one play, so they decided to throw it. And that time, KLC was stepped up for the play. They decided to abandon the run just because of a stop. That's what the difference there was on Tim's big play. Be interesting to see what they run here. Yeah, really. All right, we got third down. Offsides oh, again. Oh, man, what in the world is that young man thinking of? It was Kelly. He just made the play. No, it was number 42. 42, you're right. No, that was Kelly. Well, it shouldn't be third and six because it was, well, I guess they didn't get anything on that gainer. Yeah. Wow. Now they can run the, the plays. Let's see if they run left here to the hole that's been over here. See if they run left. Nope, they're not going with their three receivers. Well, they got the uh, two wing backs and uh, yeah. Adams in the backfield. Gats in motion again, they pitch it to him. No room. He tucks it in and good uh, play. he gets good fill that time. The I defense didn't. stepping up there. Yeah, I didn't like that call by Usberg, so that was big. Fourth down. And a long four. Call it maybe five. Yeah. Here we go. Told you. Can't get down there. You started on the nine. And they got to go for it now, obviously, with the Here we 320. Go. The crowd is up. 320 and counting. Big, 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 big play. Who do you go to? They got a three-headed monster back there. Fake. They go. They're going on the pass. Incomplete. Surprise, surprise. Gross gets hit after the throw, no call. You know what I thought was working for him, Chris, and they went away from it the last bunch of plays was the three-headed monster in the yep, backfield. I agree with you. They started going with the yep. wing backs and uh, I one agree. back. I absolutely agree. They went away from, they had that one stop by Tim and... Uh, Well, Usberg has uh, all three timeouts left, so they play some defense. They call their timeouts. They'll get it back with quite a bit of time left. Kelly uh, didn't run very hard that time, Chris. I'm not sure if I'd call timeout yet, because what if you you give it up right away? I'd let I'd go one more if I was Usberg. The next one, you would think they're going to call timeout. But still, Oosburg is not an explosive team where you can just go down the field, so. Yeah, you're right. They, uh, I like KLC's chances. You get a first down, that would really, I see. oh, interesting call. Nice. Interesting the call. The ball. Oh. We got a flag late. I think they're gonna get roughing the quarterback. I don't know why. The, I don't the know. The intended receiver that was Luke Hine in their uh, second. I think it was a hold. Second leading receiver. Let's it see is what the a call hold. is. No, nope. personal, personal foul. foul face, mask. face mask on Oosberg. Oh, boy. Well, actually, it's a good thing they did save that one time out then, Chris. Yep. Wow. That's why... Uh, Van S went down the way he did. The strangest, the uh, Oosberg helmet came off. 
Yeah, exactly. And now, after that was a strange call, Marty. You stopped the clock for him, and right. you got a break again. Blitzing. Usberg guy now breaks up Usberg the play. Now has to call timeout. And uh, nothing doing there. I think that was nope. Tim on the carry that no, time. No, they're not calling timeout. I would have called timeout right here, but that was a strange call. You're passing the ball, Marty, when you got the ball, and they get a break on the right. face masking right. call. Woo. Rolling down to the two-minute mark. Marty, they got the timeouts. I'd be using them, Chris. You never get these seconds back. Chorowitz uh, lining up on the left side gets into position. It doesn't matter, you're going to run it. Another blitz by uh, Usberg. Kelly. Kelly bounces off a of one tackler, bounces off a of two, and uh, keeps in the bounds. ball in bounds. But he gets it up near the uh, 50 yard line, near the 45 yard line. Timeout. Usberg. Well. Let's see if you can get a call here, Marty. See if you can maybe hold your count a little bit and maybe catch Usberg catch offside because huh? they're run blitzing. Yeah. See if anybody from KLC <laughs> picks no. that up. Coach Zavada's got the kids in the huddle. He says, this is what we're going to do. We're never going to snap the ball. <laughs> we're going to try and draw them offside. So you know what you guys do? Just stay there. <laughs> So the kid trots out, comes out of the huddle. What did he tell us to do? <laughs> How many times are you going to run that guy in motion and jump offside? Yep. Oh. Coaching. It's a treat, isn't it, guys? <laughs> and these guys graduate and go to college. <laughs> Who would ever thought 27-25 at yeah, half? Yeah, really. It's the same score. Is this the same... Same, yeah, are we playing same, the same game? Same uh, cast of characters. Caleb right, Kelly. Third down and about four. Kelly, the deep back, they give it to him. He goes right through the middle, and he's got the first down at about the 46-yard line. Boy, he busted through there. He had an opening that time. He hasn't had many openings this half. Well, they're going right. That was the way to go. And this game is 120 and counting. Tim is the up back. Van S is still at quarterback. We got wide receivers left and right, but they will not be throwing it now. I'd be taking a knee. Give it to Tim, and I'll tell you, the defense was on him before he got the ball. It's a... Amazing he didn't fumble. I'd be taking a knee. Why even risk the exchange? I'd get into my, uh, I don't know, Marty. I'd get into my favorite position or my favorite practice, my first practice. What do you do at the first practice? First practice stance. Victory formation? That'd be my first play. Yep, victory Victory formation would be my first play. Just to sh maybe, just out of curiosity, maybe this is a bad idea, so you don't uh, have that situation like we just had, uh, run the uh, snap out of the shotgun. You saw like the one that. out of the shotgun go over the guy's head. Yeah, but that was Oosberg. That's <laughs> not our guys. <laughs> yeah. And I saw Clemson lose the game against Florida State that way. Well, I think the uh, line needs to uh, get a little tighter. Forget your splits. Yep. And just block them out. I would not. Kelly exchange. through the middle, hangs onto it. And, and this should be the be last there. timeout here, but they got the clock up there. I think the timeouts are backwards. I think it's okay. Now it's now it's right. Zero. Not much there for uh, Kelly again. Husberg uh, is playing a. Good defense here in the uh, second half on Kelly. He had uh, 19 yards in the third quarter, and he's got uh, 21 yards here, so that's only 40 yards in the second half. They've uh, played him pretty tough. I want to mention the crew one more time. We've got uh, Kerry Coutts, our director, Richard Bartson, Eric Wiesman, 
Lacey Fister and Jesse, the man Edwards, uh, on cameras tonight. Uh, Chris Wright, my partner. I'm Mike Martin, and uh, we really enjoy doing these high school games and uh, are looking forward to doing the basketball, too. That'll come up in uh, later in November, early uh, December. And of course, we have one more football game next week when South travels over to North. Back to action here. They're blitzing. There it is. Oh, they come through a little bit soon. Oh, well, that was weird. And they don't throw a flag? Jeez. Wow. How can that be? They that could have been. Going. Yeah, well, I guess they're going to let them play. Oh, well, even the coaches are saying, how can you not call a flag? Well, now you run it all the way down. And uh, you don't even have out. to call it. Well, I guess you do, do you? Don't call you? timeout. And that's what Coach Zavada is doing. He's watching. As soon as he sees the signal for too much time, he's going to. That was the first carry by Van S. Chris on the night. Good play, Coach Zavada. Well done. 23.9 seconds left. Uh, I would not punt it. I would uh, run a sweep. I would run something I would, matter too. of fact, I'd run a sweep left because you that's the wide side of the field. Maybe you can use a little bit more time. I agree. Last time out for uh, I agree. either team. Duesberg I would not punt it either. I thought, uh, you know, we've been saying, well, use the timeout here, use it yep. there. But uh, in essence, uh, they did a good job of managing the clock here down the stretch. Coach, coaches, great job on that. Yep, I think both, uh, I agree with you, Marty. I would not risk a punt. How could you not throw a flag on that? The guy oh. jumped through way ahead of the snap, it looked like. Oh, I thought uh, I thought the uh, KLC guys were moving too. <laughs> I thought they all went forward at the same time. And then, and they are going for it, Marty. Good call. You and I thinking alike. Yeah. You give it to uh, Kelly, he breaks through, he's got the first down. And they push him out of bounds. Doesn't matter, he's gonna get it down to about the 30. It'll be a 10 yard pickup. Good call. I would have called the same thing. They were running to the left here and it was open that whole last series. Now oh, they're in the victory formation. And uh, Van S takes a knee, and the clock will run out, and that'll be the ball game. KLC a winner tonight, 27 to 25, and what was uh, really a tale of two halves, to say the least. Well, I, I'm shocked, Marty. The score is the same as it was at halftime, the way that both defenses. But do you know what it was? It's two. Basically, Marty had two situations. They had to go long, long distances on their drives, and they couldn't. They, neither team could finish, and uh, because of the distance and nice victory for KLC. The key of the game was uh, that last deep drive by Usberg, where uh, they they couldn't get it in. Actually, I would take that back. It was the last deep drive by KLC where they couldn't get it in, and they forced uh, Usberg to drive the field. Uh, Anything else, Chris? Or are you pretty much talked out here? <laughs> All right, we mentioned the crew. We want to thank them for their great work. Our next game will be uh, next Friday when uh, South comes up to the north side to play north in the annual north-south game. We look forward to doing that. Uh, one more time, Oosberg, uh, pardon me, KLC a winner, 27-25. Oosberg playing spirited ball in the second half, as was uh, the KLC team. Uh, again, for the crew, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.